Let's talk about the intermolecular forces between atoms and molecules. They're the forces that lead to condensation of the gas phase into the liquid phase. Now, there's various kinds of intermolecular forces, but all of them depend on a plus-minus interaction. Somewhere in the sample, a positive charge attracted to a negative charge. We classify them in terms of their energy. The lowest energy we call van der Waals dispersion interactions. Now, those are interactions between molecules that on the surface appear very symmetric, so there's no plus or minus interaction that you'd predict. But what happens is those electronic clouds around those molecules can be distorted. And when they're distorted, just transiently, that leads to a little plus-minus interaction. And that transient dipole moment can actually induce dipole moments in nearby molecules. So you have a cooperative effect. We call these transient or induced forces dispersion or van der Waals forces. They look like this. Here's relatively symmetric particles, but if there's a transient shift, in the electronic cloud, that causes a little bit of a dipole moment and can induce dipole moments and therefore attractive forces between particles. I can go to slightly higher energy. Slightly higher energy is when I have a permanent dipole moment in the particle. Now, if I have a permanent dipole moment, there's a clear positive and a clear negative end of the particle, which can be attracted to each other. Those are higher energy because they're permanent, and they require a higher temperature more kinetic energy to overcome. So particles with only van der Waals interactions, they will boil at low temperatures. But if I have particles that have permanent dipole moments, those interactions are stronger. Those stronger interactions mean more kinetic energy or higher temperature to boil. Now, I can go to even higher interaction, still a dipole-dipole interaction, but a special one. When you talk about dipole-dipole interactions where a hydrogen is involved, like water, the classic example, here I have negative end of water and a positive end of the water molecule due to the dipole moment on the water molecules. Now this hydrogen will be attracted to the negative oxygen on an adjoining molecule. And that interaction is strong, and it's so strong we give it its own name. We call it hydrogen bonding. Now it's not an actual chemical bond, in fact, it's about 100 times weaker, but it's actually hundreds of times stronger than these interactions. So the strongest type of intermolecular interaction, hydrogen bonding, occurs in special cases. Water is the classic case. And we'll talk about water and hydrogen bonding more later in this series. But for now, we have a description of the strengths and relative magnitudes of intermolecular forces that cause condensation in gases into the liquid phase.